Hello, hello. I'm the official name writer. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today we're looking at the other Kalos fossil, Amora and Aurorus. Alright, get out of the way. Littlefoot, did you see it coming? Cool. We all saw it coming. We saw it coming in the last episode, and then like every other episode that's ever mentioned Littlefoot ever. And while on the subject, because I know he was the one who posted Sinclair, I do think Sinclair works better on Aurorus than it does on fucking, what you call it, Tyrantrum. Also, just getting Borealis out of the way, because I do see this nickname a lot, and I just ignore it a lot because it's just not that interesting. You're also naming it kind of what it's mostly based off of, the Aurora Borealis. And I do think its design is really, really nice. I really like it. But I just never really cared for Borealis as a nickname or Aurora as a nickname, so throwing that out there. I'm only going to acknowledge Elsa just because I'm positive we talked about it in the past before. So, Frozen if you care for the reference. Did you know it wasn't until the anime came out that I realized Aurorus is actually fucking huge? Because I actually didn't know it was as big as it was because the 3D games are bad and don't properly show the Pokemon to their correct sizes. A reminder that that's important. So, I learned Aurorus is big that day. And this, I believe, is a little clip from that episode. Anyway, Aurora. Wow, we just talked about that and how boring it was and how it's basically just the Pokemon's name. Haley, do you get it? It's a joke. Ha ha, I've seen this a thousand times. I don't care. Hailstone. You're not even trying at that point. And then Frostosaurus. You're trying even less. Congratulations. You've wasted everybody's time. Everybody is disappointed in you. I don't know what's more sad, the fact that the Tumblr idiot felt the need to copy this answer, or like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? That's not even a good answer to copy. It actually sounds like it would be something he made, but it's not even his idea. That's even worse. Alright, so I realized I forgot to pull up the comment suggestions and uh, took a look. And basically, we've covered every single comment suggestion as of this point. Tundra being the last one of the few. Generic ice type nicknames. There's nothing much more to say than that. I don't know what Rory is in reference to, but it was literally all over Nick Finder just two seconds ago. Anyway, Kilimanjaro is a thing, I guess. It's not particularly spectacular to me because, I don't know, I guess just mountains don't do it for me. Maybe it's because they feel overdone because of shit like Krakatoa or Vesuvius or whatever. Mount St. Helens. So I think the volcano thing kind of just ruins the mountain thing for me. But I mean, location-based nicknames are fine. Oh, and I guess I probably should have mentioned Dry Ice. I don't know. I don't have a problem with that, but I don't really think it's the most interesting either. So, eh, it's there. Alright, well, we've reached the bottom, and hopefully those last three links kind of, like, showcase to you what it's like for me on the average episode, where I'm actually staring at the same responses over and over again. Just, uh, in case you didn't know. Check in the spreadsheet real quick. It's empty. Today was significantly less... Less good. We found less. There was much less. It is very clear which one is the more popular one, but I'm also just going to go ahead and say I think it's kind of easier to come up with names for T-Rexes than, what is it? It's a brontosaurus, right? Okay, it says sauropod dinosaur Amargosaurus. Okay, cool. There you go. Just uh, that one's out of the way. And now we can get the technicalities. Regardless, I, I definitely think uh, it's easier to come up with tar T Rex based nicknames, so it, it makes sense. When I initially wanted to try this out, because I actually wanted to use it on my original team for Pokemon X and Y, and I was like, oh, I think it'd be really cool to use a fossil Pokemon. And I still do. Using a fossil is like one of the few things I haven't actually tried out on a team. I've tried every single type of Pokemon. And I've used legendaries, non-legendaries, but like I've never done a fossil before, so that's one thing I'd like to try. And I like Aurora's. I don't know. Just I feel like, despite what everyone says, I think Ice is a great type. Offensively, defensively, it might suck, but you know what? Dragon's a terrible type offensively, but defensively, it's great. So, same with Poison. Anyway, when I had it, I don't think I looked anything up, I don't remember, but I do remember the placeholder I had was just Arcterra based off of Metroid. I think that's Prime 3? Prime Hunters? Okay, well it's Prime Hunters and it's based off the one that I didn't technically play. So, <laughs> so what are you going to do? 
But that was that was just the placeholder I had, and I was hopeful that like eventually I'd find something better or something else better would stumble across. So, I mean, it's it's fine, but yeah, I uh, when I did switch up and completely change my team for X and Y, I was like, wow, Aurorus is very hard to use at this point in time because we're about to fight a rock gym and it has literally nothing it can attack with. So anyway, any ideas and suggestions you have, feel free to put in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good. Hopefully, we got some more unique names for these this one because this is right now the redheaded stepchild of tyrantrum where tyrantrum is clearly the favorite and aurorus is the reject but that can change we can come up with good names there are dozens of generic ice type names you can come up with or just generic names in general but if we can come up with something more specific that would be even better give me a better name let me fall in love with something that would be better than what I already came up with, which I mean, it's fine. I bet if I actually used Fendrana, I probably would have kept it and been like, nope, not changing for anything, but for whatever reason, I picked Arctera. Not sure why. Probably because it's in alphabetical order. 